We are still with the Pharisees here. This is a continuation of the gospel we had the day before yesterday. Yesterday we had John the Baptist. It was a variation from the continuous text of Matthew, but we're still where we were here on Monday. And it's a condemnation of the Pharisees. Now, we all have what psychologists call the shadow. It's that inner person we have. It's the person we're embarrassed to show. It's the, the person that holds resentments and, and you know, keeps, makes judgments about people in our inner person. It's the small, what we call the small soul, the pusilla anima. We all have this inner person, the shadow. And we, we face it here and there. We become conscious of the shadow. The shadow is not bad. It's just very human. We need to look at it, become aware of it, but it's part of being fully human. That's not what Jesus is speaking about here. He's speaking about religious people. He's speaking, speaking about people in authority in the business of religion are people who are righteous. They presume to have all the answers. They're afraid of change. They're critical of others. Um, while on one hand, they appear to be externally religious, they carry all sorts of emptiness and resentments and judgments about others, judgments about others. And the reason they can make judgments about others is they haven't faced their own weakness. When we don't face our own weakness, we are inclined to make judgments about others. And rather interestingly, the judgments we make about others, what we find the fault in the others is in fact the fault within ourselves. If you make a judgment about another person because the other person is selfish, it's because you're not generous, because you yourself are selfish, and you can see that in the other person. Jesus welcomed sinners. Sinners had no problem with Jesus. Tax collectors, those who were reviled in society, no problem with Jesus, because they knew who they were. The sinners knew they were sinners. Tax collectors were publicly known for what they were. Jesus has no problem. The difficulty comes when you have this hypocrisy, when you have the external judgment and the righteousness. We find it in our church today. People who are fearful of change, and they make these very righteous judgments about others. People who divide and don't unite. People who make judgments about people in the church. You're worthy and you're not worthy. You fit and you don't fit. Um, we find this among ourselves. It's, it's a religious weakness. And this is what Jesus is speaking about here. It's about religious people who are self-righteous, presume they have the answers, presume they have the last word, presume they know what's better for the other person. They're fearful of change. Pope Francis spoke about that in the last four or five days. He spoke about some of the American leaders in the American church and how they're fearful of change. They're self-righteous, they're judgmental. Um, they're oppressive in that way. And he said, they um, embrace an ideology instead of a growing of faith. Um, there's a marvelous part in Dostoevsky's The Brothers Karamazov, where there is a contest between Jesus and an agent of the Inquisition. And the agent of the Inquisition says, Jesus did not understand people because people prefer the rigid 
legalism of an institution to the freedom of faith and a journey of faith where you have to make this great act of faith and you have set yourself free to discover, to grow, and to look at new revelations. He said, people don't want that. People are far, far more comfortable in a legalistic structure where they're told what to do. And they're told, this is how you must live. Instead of embracing the person of Jesus Christ, the faith we have in God's goodness and in the Holy Spirit leading us, which is something beyond law. It's above law. It's a freedom. It's a possibility in our lives that is marvelous when you think about the freedom of being a follower of Jesus Christ. It summons something far more profound and far deeper inside of ourselves rather than settling for mere legalism. This is what Jesus is speaking about here. So we want to keep that in mind when we're prompted to make judgments about others because we ourselves are righteous and religious. We pause now for a moment of prayer.